Hello, hello, hello. We're going to be doing some uh, tutorial. I don't know what this is. Tutorial. No, this is about stem splitting from Logic Pro 11. Logic Pro 11 dropped yesterday. And stem splitting is really interesting. Uh, yeah. It, trust me, it really is. Um, Logic Pro is a new update for the digital audio workstation, the door. And it allows you they've got loads of new things in it but there's the thing I'm interested in is stem splitter You're probably wondering what that is well you load in a file it can be a mono audio file or a stereo audio file and it will extract its component parts its constituent parts from the mix so it will take out the drums the bass guitar keyboards voice and magically as if by magic split them there are services out there there is software and um, websites that you can do this already. Uh, Ikai MPC introduced stems to their uh, range very recently, but to have this happen into Logic is again, it's just absolutely out there. Now, for me, it's interesting because many years ago I used to record on a, a four track recorder uh, something known as a Vestex MR44, which looked like this. It looks like it was should be on a Russian submarine and was built like it, very industrial, very dunk when I pressed the buttons to, to record. And I recorded my early faltering steps into music creation on that. And in those days, I used to bounce down some of the tracks. So what you'd do is you'd actually end up bouncing down drums, uh, bass, and rhythm guitar onto one track. Now, this is a technique that... Bands like The Beat was used back in the 60s when they only had four track recorders at Abbey Road. And then with the advent of eight track, 16 track, 32 track, the sky's the limit. And so you can put an instrument on every track and get a wider stereo mix. That's why music sounds so wonderful now. So I thought with the stem split software, I could go back and I could drag old file like this the old files into logic pro and pull them apart see what we can do so yeah this is like the future has arrived very exciting stuff so i've got i'm gonna well I put my headphones a shame on because you got to aren't you? otherwise everything's going to feed back and you don't want that headphones are on i've opened a new project in in logic and we're going to head over there now so here it is and i'm going to drag my old four track audio mixes in there there, there go the master tracks uh, create new tracks with those files uh, get rid of those just don't need that as a template so yeah this track here is that bounce down drums bass and rhythm guitar it sounds like this So there you have it, it's um, three instruments bounced down onto a single mono audio track. In this new version of Logic Pro, Logic Pro 11, uh, we just right click and there it is, Stem Splitter is there. And we click on that and it opens up this new window. Um, it asks me if I want to uh, bring out the vocals, the drums, bass, and other. Well, I don't need vocals because there aren't any vocals, but we do have drums, bass, and I guess other. It's guitar. That's what it is. So, wow. Uh, that's really, really quick. So, let's see what it's done. So, sounds like the drums, but will the bass kick in? Let's listen. No, there is no bass guitar. Amazing. And on this track is the bass itself. And there's a little bit of 
a little bit of a remnant of the drums there. But yeah, that sounds like a nice slated bass guitar. Now I don't think much of I don't think the the electric guitar is going to be the rhythm guitar is going to be too good. It's going to probably going to be pretty sludgy because it was a distorted guitar. So let's see what it's done with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you get the idea. But what we can now do is we can go in. We can use our bit of studio trickery to make you know the drums sound a bit better and the bass sound better. So what we'll do is we'll add some compression to the drums. I, I tend to just use presets. I'm going to use classic drums. That's going to make them sound really, really loud. Let's listen. That's got a bit of welly to it now. And um, chroma verb. This is a reverb plugin that comes in with Logic, and we'll add Modest Drum Room. There you go, puts a bit of life into it. And we'll adjust the EQ. There you go. So already, see, that sounds a bit more lively and we'll repeat the same for the bass again sounds a bit sludgy so I'm going to add some compression to tighten it up just give it a bit of presence there and I'll add a little bit of chroma verbal don't want that, that's far too big, but what we'll do is we'll add a bit of the recording room there. Let's then can mix those two together. Sounds a bit more lively. Again, it's not going to be amazing, but we're trying to, like I say, revive the dead here. So the last track is the guitar. That doesn't sound too good at all. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to kind of virtually reamp it. I use something called Bias FX2, which is a guitar effects plugin, and. I'm going to use something called British Dirt, and uh, yeah, that's what that looks like. I, I recommend it. It's one of my favourite guitar plugins. In fact, it is the main one I use for my guitars now because I think it sounds pretty lively. And so we've kind of uh, we've kind of revoiced it. It's going to be pretty loud, I reckon. So let's just pull that down. Yeah, it's a bit, you know, not brilliant. But again, I'm going to add a bit of chroma verb to it. Uh, let's see, room. I'm going to go with uh, punchy room. How's that going to sound? Yeah. Again, it's, it's only a, something a mother could love. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll pan that a little bit to the left. Now let's see how that all sounds together. So, one, two, three. So,
Well, as you can hear, that sounds a very, very different to the original, which I'm just going to drag in. We can play them side by side. So we'll mute those. And this is what the original sounded like. Again, it's, it's a mono track. So go from that to this. So, there you go. I think that's, I mean, you could play with that for days. <laughs> I mean, that's magic. I really do think that is amazing for me. Again, I mean, I've got all my old four track projects loaded into Logic anyway, so I can just go in there now and anything that has been bounced down, I can now pull apart and create a more stereo mix. This is just mind boggling mind-blowing and it takes a four track recording and turns into well an eight track recording or whatever how many times you've bounced things down um it's just i mean this is the future they used similar technology to this on the beatles revolver remix where they pulled apart the beatles but they had ai learning and all that involved but this is just the beginning this is all going to get more and more complicated and, and more and more sophisticated as the years go by. And I just think this is, again, my mind is blown. I just can't believe, one, how easy it is, and two, uh, just what depth you can add to your mono recordings. So, wow. And this is a free upgrade. If you've already got Logic Pro 11, download this. It's already in there. That's without the other instruments that they've added to. There's, a, load of old, there's a, a virtual bass player and keyboard player, which I haven't looked at yet. I was really... This is what's um, interesting to me because, wow, I mean, how long have I been doing this? Just, yeah, 12 minutes. You heard. It wasn't even 12 minutes because I did a preamble. But in five minutes, I've pulled apart an old mono track and giving it a little bit more life, a little bit more stereo. Again, I could go in and I could really massage it. There's many other things I can do uh, to, again, you know, make it a more modern, more modern sound. Hopefully, this has inspired you. That's the whole point of doing this: is to make you, you know, think, "Wow, I can do that." And then this, this is this track I used is one of the very first things I ever recorded properly on a four track. And here I am going back in the year 2024, you know, is it 32 years later, and I can pull it apart. And it's just, I just, I, just, I find it fascinating. I just, I'm really enthused by this. Anyway, I've blathered on. Hopefully this has been of interest to you. Hopefully you've gone, wow, if that idiot can do this, I can do even better. Exactly. You can't polish a turd, but you can roll it in glitter with this new technology and there you go brilliant stuff stem splitting from apple via their logic pro 11 update check it out hopefully it's been useful if it has um give me a thumbs up and and hopefully there'll be another video along by me that you'll find interesting thank you for watching my name's been darren Ock. there's only one more thing to say and that is ta-ta